Hello, this, this is Shin and you're watching Coffee Shin TV. It's been exactly one week in a day that I've been using this fantastic, beautiful glass of Hario Switch. As you can see, it's already cracked. That's apparently my bad. I'm not sure actually, I'm not sure. But as long as it's not leaking, because uh, I can actually feel a crack on here, but it's not leaking. Guys, I'm telling you it's not leaking yet, but I'm leaking this. But anyway, I've been using this really gladly. This is just grateful. This is really nice. Comparing to just normal Hario that I have, this one. I don't have the glass one because yeah, you can see I cannot have the glass one. It's been only a week that just, yeah, I did it. So this Serami one is really strong. I've been using this one for like a year or something, but it's just looking new, right? But anyway, comparing to just normal Hario, this is really much more convenient to use. So firstly, off or on, down for close. I'm just used to this. I'm just professional at this. Close, open, close, open. I'm just very, very professional. Okay, yeah, you can see that during the test. What I love the most about it is, it's just so convenient. I don't need to care about this anymore when I do pour. So I just need to pour just up to 240. That's my recipe. Then that's it. And I just need to click it whenever the time that I want to. But for this, I have to pour a weight. <sighs> 30 seconds and then pour again. Oh wait. Oh, it's one minute and 30 seconds. Oh, and pour. And wait. That's it. Ah, oh, done. Yeah, I don't need to do this shit anymore. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna make a coffee with it and then make another coffee with it, just no more Hario. And then show you what's the difference. And obviously, this one is gonna be lighter and weaker because for this, this is gonna contain all the water that I pour and then the water will be like dragging all the material out of coffee for the time that I just keep it closed. With this one, it, it's just keeping open. So if I pour, It'll drag the coffee material, but the water is also just go through the filter and then coffee will come out from the dripper so that the water cannot really like sitting there and then dissolve all the coffee material comparing to this one. So I just can guess this is gonna be weaker. I haven't like compare side by side, but I'm just gonna do it right now. And I actually have got two scales on here so I can do it easily. And there is my beautiful coffee. So I just want to use 20 grams. Yeah, I have to show you. I think you have trust issue. Uh -huh. Grinding point unit seven. Yeah, I have to give some. Come on, really? It doesn't just change the weight, I guess. Oh, come on. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, what? I think the scale is not working properly. Ah, yeah, that's my life like. That's it. I'm gonna end here. So I'm gonna pour up to 240 in here and give a little steer. Yeah, that's the wooden stick that I only have. I was born this way. Okay. Ah, I didn't open it. And let's do this. Start on here. I just pour up to 240. Easy. And then I'll open at 1 minute and 40 seconds. Oh, I didn't close it. Really, really. Oh. Yeah, that's what I call professional. As I started it, I just want to finish it. Pour up to 40 and then wait for 30 seconds. So you can see how easy it is. It's done, it's done. I just need to wait and then open it at one, one minute and 40 seconds. But this one at 30 seconds, I have to pour more, something like this, and up to maybe 140. 120 should be enough. Yeah, it's close. Anyway, and then I just want to give us a bit of a steer in here. I just open at two minutes and I want to give a little oh, here on here, right? shake actually, so that I can get all the coffee grounds into the water. And at 110 seconds, I'll just pour up to 240. 
That's it. Then I'll open this one. Yeah, I just give a little bit more of a shake. Actually, the water coming out from the dripper seems to be similar. I think this is gonna be slower because it's already 2 minutes and 37 seconds. It's done, 2 minutes and 40 seconds. And let's see. So I had to, I think I had to open at like 1 minute and 40 seconds to match up the time. So could learn. It will be obviously, obviously stronger because the shot time is longer. And the water actually was hotter because I used it uh, water right from the... But I pour this one after that. So the water should be like cooler because I poured it and then used up even cooler water and poured it and used up even cooler water and poured it. So as I want to like match up everything as similar as I can. So I may need to pour and then put it on the heater and then pour, heater, pour, heater. Okay. It's not surprisingly weaker. The aroma doesn't bang. The aroma is much stronger and then acidity is stronger. So I'm just gonna prepare another cup to compare properly. Please wait. So I'm gonna show you how to... I'm gonna show you... Oh well, yeah, it's ruined. The first one is ruined already anyway. You've seen it. I'm not gonna cut it out. Ah, yes. So I have to use this one. This one is real. I just want to show you that works. Not more. It should be different obviously because the temperature that it can like hold is going to be different because the metal is more like um, easy to lose the heat but the ceramic is like harder to lose the heat but the glass is thicker than the ceramic so I think the ceramic this one loses more heat but it's kind of like different issues so I just want to show you that it works with the switch thing the switch thing is really just the key part of this whole thing the Hario switch because I don't actually need this one and then Hario actually makes the tea like brewer kind of thing with this one exactly same. I think it's the exactly same one but it's really cute so I'm gonna get it yeah. <laughs> then this time I'm just gonna do the same steer I'm just gonna give the same steer at the same time yeah 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 so I just give the rinse then it's open right yeah it's open I have to make sure close it. To heat up, I'll just give steer at one minute. I'll give like 10 steer. You know how to use the chopstick properly? Put this one on here and put the middle finger down here and then just do it. One minute, 10, 10 steer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah ha 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 ha. And I give steer at one minute. Ooh. Yeah. I can actually feel, I can actually feel the coffee ground just stuck in the middle. And open it. One minute and 40 seconds. There you go. Wow, it's faster actually. I pour up to 240. It's really similar, right? 241.9, 241.9. Jesus Christ, that's exactly the same. Yeah, the water is coming out. It's like baby peeing in the cup, but the baby has got the some issue in the bladder, I guess. The color is not good, not good. That's it. 220. I'm minutes and seconds. Five, six, seven. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's hot. After a really similar process, wow. Much better cup than the before one, the previous one. Wow, this is freaking good. Wow, this is really clean. The very light aroma bangs and the acidity is just right on the point. I just love it. Yeah, just clean. A bit of sugar, like brown sugar flavor is left in the aftertaste. Just lovely. The aroma is a bit weaker and it finishes much earlier. It's lighter. The acidity is actually lighter. I can really see that stronger and weaker. So if you made a coffee with the Hario, just like normal V60, then you think I just want it to have like more aroma and a bit stronger taste and then a bit like heavier body kind of thing. Then you can use the switch. The difference between the two cups is getting like clearer. It's getting more stronger and stronger 
but this one is getting just stronger. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. But if you want to pull them because the bean has been like one day old after the roasting, then you may really need to like bloom it to remove some gas in there. In that way, you get the clearer aroma. But roasting after one day coffee is not really, yeah. It can still contain like too much gas so that you cannot get the clearer aroma. Even though you bloom it like a long time, still you lose the aroma with the gas as well. So that you may want to just like age it with like proper time. If you cannot get like the aroma that you want from the coffee, then you may want to wait like another day or two days. But this one has been like two weeks. Yeah, it's roasted on like March 16th and today is March 31st. So it's been like two weeks, a bit more. And I don't need to just bloom and wait. So actually for this one, I didn't really need to bloom and wait, but still I cannot just pour a lot of water at once because it's gonna be really weak. <sighs> oh shoot. Ooh. Ooh. And this one, I know it will work, but this one is from the different company. So if it works well, that will be great. Oh, nice. Huh. It should work. Yeah. As long as it can just go in, it should work. Yeah, I'll just show you. 90.2 again. I didn't rinse it. Jesus Christ. Am I stupid? Uh, yes, are you stupid? Oh no, you are very precious. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and like the video if you are right liking it, liking watching it. Okay, thank you. So I'll just keep the coffee in the cup. You now know why I brought two cups on here. Great, right? And let's see if we're oh, that can be the issue because this one is narrower than the glass one. So that if I take this one only, the switch doesn't follow. So I just want to move the switch. So I just need to check, I just closed it. I just need to check if it leaks or not. Just pour up to 240, but I'm not sure if there is enough water inside the kettle, but I think the creeper is smaller. It's well, not only, ah. Oh. 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 No good. And no freaking good. <laughs> yeah, if I open it, it's okay. Why? Oh, oh no, that's a disaster. Oh uh, no, God, yeah. So that's not gonna work. So important thing that I found just now is I have to make sure the bottom of the dripper should fit, fit on here. It's actually silicone so that it works like a gasket. So I just ignore this stupidly. I actually just explain what am I stupid? Yes, are you? No, you are very intelligent people. And please like the video and subscribe my channel. And so this is actually bigger than the glass one. So let's see if it works, but it's stretch it a bit. So the silicone works better, but it can drop the Metal ball. Oh, this is hot. Yeah, heat conductivity for metal is really good. So I just pointless is blunt. Don't I actually need to get some water. <laughs> actually, you know what time it is? This is party time. Seven, seven, I four seventeen. Not p.m. It's a.m. I'm liking it. I'm liking making video because I don't have anyone to talk in person. I barely speak, especially to human beings. I speak to my pets, but they are not human beings. I cannot listen to them. They only say work, work, or I'm hearing that the water is ready. It's metal, so I don't want to touch this surface of it because uh, because heat conductivity of metal is higher than glass okay if i touch this one ouch this is hard mm -hmm. oh oh are you okay are you okay it killed my scale it doesn't work what the hell what the hell is it gonna like I uh, ah yeah heat conductivity it literally killed my scale not literally figuratively ah nice water it's basically water I actually relieved even though I see this one got cracked because I have this one 
and this one and I fig figured out this one doesn't work and I just figured out this one doesn't work so ah it's time to freak out I cracked it dang what have I done why why does it work ah is it not gonna work for everything let me check yeah it's working yeah it's working but it's kind of leaking on the crack but there was filter so it was okay back then so important thing is <laughs> learning from trolling that's the best that's the best so this whole thing is a seal this whole thing is the gasket so i have to use something that it fits perfectly otherwise it'll leak so actually the metal one it doesn't fit perfectly it has the gap on here come on hario you made this one is the one that only can work with this one but flexibility man i cannot blame you about the product but i just want to blame my the adventurous heart the last thing that i want to talk about this one is i can use this espresso machine to pour water on this one so one time i forgot to reset the grinder dial it was on like 11 at like ultra grinder it's just for the pro for it's not for espresso at all so i just forgot it so i just ground it in the potter filter and then it was really thick so i was oh my god like, what am i gonna do i realized that i have the hardware switch i just get the dripper put the filter on there and then get the water from the this espresso machine to rinse the filter and then put the grounds into the filter and then just pour the water up to 240. yeah it was easy but the height is quite tall so that i cannot put the scale down there but i already know that the amount of water when i pour like 240 grams of water so that i can just check the volume of water like physically not from the information that the machine showed but a uh, but a uh, but i had to steer it properly because the water the water from the machine is kind of like that 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 it's just it's just spraying the water not like it gives like one thick stream that can go through the coffee grounds so that the coffee grounds like bottom of the coffee grounds cannot like wet properly so i had to steer it but that wasn't really big issue i i have to steer or shake it i forgot but it, that wasn't really big issue because at the end of the day i could like wet all the coffee grounds in the future and then get the beautiful cup of coffee so that's another way to use the dripper i think i broke i chipped this one when i put this one when while the pore filter is in so that i hit the pore filter i guess yeah that's all my fault so people this is pretty much new years remove the pore filter first and then put it in or you can just remove the drip tray and then put it on the scale as you can see at first i'm not professional enough so i'm gonna use it for a month and then make a review video and if you like the video please like the video there's thumb button that you can click or tap this one uh, no 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 this one yes 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 and then please subscribe my channel thank you for watching uh, peace out